Good evening everyone, my name is Hagen BBS. I'm from BNMIT CSE Third Sum. Today I'm going to be presenting about a particular data set. Recently I noticed that a lot of youth along with me are hooked on to online platforms, online streaming platforms such as Prime, uh, Netflix and uh, Disney All Star. I picked uh, Netflix. The reason behind this is very interesting. So why Netflix exactly? As we all know, uh, Disney has been making movies for the past 50 years and also Amazon is a very big tech giant and an uh, e-commerce giant. They use these primary businesses to fund their OTT platforms. But Netflix is the whole and sole operator of its own uh, OTT platform. That's why uh, even though it has its disadvantages, Netflix has remained on top uh, despite the tough competitions. I have downloaded the data sets from Kaggle and it has the following uh, columns such as show ID, type, title of the movie, director of the movie, etc. In total it has around 8807 rows and around 12 columns. And uh, I have shown the top 5 and the bottom 5 of the columns. In the next I have uh, dropped or deleted most of the null values which are not needed and which will be a hindrance for me in the next graph plottings. So after I deleted the null values, the number of rows fell down from 8000 to a staggering 5300 rows and uh, it also I also checked if there were any for further uh, null values and all of them returned false. Therefore I went forward with my uh, data analysis. I also dropped the column for show ID because it was not uh, needed for me for plotting more graphs. And uh, my first question was, is there more number of movies or more number of TV shows on Netflix? I also thought there was more number of TV shows but the uh, results showed that there are more number of movies. The movies uh, range from 6131 movies and the TV shows are a mere 2500. But this also led to the revolution in uh, Indian series because we were used to the age old uh, tradition of 1000 episodes per uh, serial etc. But now we have started to make more compact series and they are more fun to watch. There are a very variety of ratings available on Netflix. We can see that there is a high rating for mature audiences uh, movies and also for parental guidance and above 14 uh, children should only watch it's like that so uh, that's why most of the shows are made for adults <coughs> and uh, to counter this Netflix has made its own Netflix kids so that uh, they can enjoy family friendly shows on Netflix and not be traumatized there are uh, uh, Netflix boasts about its various genres there are main five genres on Netflix. Drama takes up the majority of it. You might have heard K-dramas which are becoming the hot topic from uh, past few years. People also come to Netflix to watch comedy shows so that they can relieve their stress and also fulfill their uh, satisfaction, fulfill their want for action and documentaries. Also, Netflix has a lot of movies, but most of these movies are about 90, like one and a half an hour to two hours. This is because people want to watch movies which are around one, hour, one to one and a half an hours, so it doesn't waste more of their time and also they can come back from a break very quickly. Around uh, 90 to 100 minutes movies is the most which is present in Netflix. Now, this graph shows the number of releases on Netflix. You can see there is a steady growth of uh, number of show releases till 2014 to 2015. Now, there is a very steep incline here. This is because of the recent uh, subsidization of uh, internet uh, and uh, thanks to Ambani, all of us can afford data at a very reasonable price. People started to watch more and more movies and that too on a very regular basis. So Netflix started to push more TV shows and movies into Netflix. 
and also it has peaked over here. This is the time where COVID hit us. Most of the people were at home and they did not have much of work to do. So they came on to Netflix and were watching a lot of TV shows and movies. It started to drop when uh, the years passed because people started to get back to work and also because there was no production of movies uh, during the COVID era. I also uh, searched for the countries which were mostly active in Netflix. Uh, United States is the top. It's, it produces around 1800 movies and TV shows. Whereas uh, India comes second with 868 TV shows. I made a graph of top 5, uh, top five uh, uh, countries which shows that uh, India and uh, USA are way ahead of their uh, competitors. This shows the majority of shareholding in Netflix is taken by US and others are like very small slices of the pie. So I decided to dig deeper into Netflix and uh, sorry, Netflix, uh, India and United States. I started to list down what, are, what was all there with United States movies, uh, uh, TV shows and also Indian movies and TV shows. I narrowed it down to type of the movie, the title of the movie, country which it belongs to and the release year. I also uh, wanted to know what were the ratings of these movies which were being produced into Netflix by the both of the countries. And the uh, answer was almost astonishing. India and uh, USA produce the same amount of uh, movies which belong to the same type or same uh, ratings. We can see here that the difference between one type of rating and the other type of uh, rating is almost the same in both India and uh, uh, USA. There are only uh, very minute changes. With this, uh, I would like to end my data analysis uh, presentation. Happy binge watching. Thank you.